Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are gonna talk about the last couple days before Pokemon Day. We're so close to brand new news and information about the Pokemon franchise. We're so close to new information about Scarlet and Violet, spin-off games, and all the other things that Pokemon likes to promote. So let's talk about Pokemon Day a little bit and the excitement for it coming up very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is that time once again. It is time for all of us to sit here for days on end, counting our fingers and counting down and hoping that Pokemon Day comes sooner rather than later. The announcement and then build up to a Pokemon Day or any sort of Pokemon Presents Direct, Nintendo Direct, any of those things is always so fun. The speculation and hype and the way the community rallies around these events is one of the most exciting parts of being a Pokemon fan and being a gaming fan in general. It, it rivals pretty much the release of the game because everybody is into the same topics. Everybody is talking about what you're seeing. There's a ton of news. Usually we get things that we don't expect. Plenty of YouTubers and streamers live stream their reactions and then post them. Everyone gets excited about the thing that we didn't already know about or the one last thing if we're talking about Nintendo Directs. It's one of the best things to experience. So the fact that we're coming up on another one is very exciting. Of course, I've had a handful of videos now talking about what we could see at Pokemon Day this year, what announcement announcements we might get, whether they're related to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, or if they have something to do with spinoffs or DLC, things of that nature. There's a lot we're going to see. We're in sort of a down period where we're past the announcement of a brand new generation which came last year we have the new games we're fully immersed in the new cycle so it's going to be a couple years before we get that big new generation brand new remake type pokemon presents event and pokemon day presentation but these are just as fun you get tons of cool information about spin-off titles updates to some of pokemon's mobile apps like go which if you're into are always fun there's always plenty of really cool events happening with pokemon go different seasons that happen throughout the month so that stuff is always here but we got the big stuff everyone everyone and their mother is expecting pokemon scarlet and violet dlc and it's going to be really nice to get some concrete concrete confirmation on it come Monday. We're going to probably see a trailer if it does get announced. We're going to get rough release dates. We might know more about the structure of when we're going to actually be playing it, and which for someone like me, whose bulk of Pokemon play comes from the main story and ancillary things outside of completing the main story and then replaying old games is the most exciting part for me because I want to know when I'm going to be able to boot up Scarlet and Violet again and play through something brand new. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. New raid events every couple weekends are awesome. And if they're special ones like the Cinderace or the Greninja, I'll get up and play and really kind of put some more hours into the game. But outside of those and outside of maybe doing some multiplayer things with friends or on a live stream or shiny hunting, the bulk of my experience with Pokemon games is that main story. So hopefully we get a nice meaty bit of new story content announced on Pokemon Day. But the other thing we're going to see and the other thing a lot of people are expecting, of course, is the DLC from the DLC is how it's going to be structured. Are we going to get it in multiple parts? Are we going to get one big release at the end of the year? Are we going to get two or three different pieces? Are they going to call it an expansion pass? And are we going to have different waves? Hopefully, whatever it might be, they lay all of that out. That's great. We've been expecting that since November, but now we have Game Boy games on Switch. We have rumors of spin-offs coming to Switch. There's a lot more for us to sink our teeth into. And hopefully, for what I said before, if they do announce that Pokemon games are coming to game or coming to the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance service on NSO, or as YouTubers like Austin John Plays have speculated, maybe in their own folder that is attached to the expansion pack purchase, so they can charge you more to play all of these games, unfortunately. That means we're gonna have new games to replay, which is exactly what I want. Getting to go back to generation three and really replay through Emerald, go through the battle frontier, raise up a team, take on the best version of Hoenn's story with Rayquaza at the end, quelling Kyogre and Groudon, getting both evil teams. That would be awesome. For me personally, there is so much there, but it's just great 
to see the community so engaged with what we're going to be getting. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. Pokemon has done a really good job over the last couple of years of providing a lot of and ancillary support stuff for the hype leading up to these events, whether it's video specials on their social media channels and on their YouTube page, interacting with people, posting photos and, and blurbs about their experiences with the Pokemon franchise. They do a really good job interacting with the community during this time. And it just makes the entire thing more exciting, but it also makes the wait so unbearable. It's, I'm recording this on Friday, I don't know when it's going to go up on the channel sometime this weekend. And I just, I want it to show up already. And then you wake up in the morning and it's at 9 a.m. And you're like, oh my God, and you're groggy and you got to have your coffee. If you're on the Eastern time, like I am in the United States, or if you're earlier, if you're further West, it's, it's the whole experience. And it's, it's something that I think I wanted to make a video about just because I want to cherish these moments. You never know. You never know how many of these we're going to have. You never know how many times you get to go around and experience these things every single year. Our time is limited on this earth. So getting to kind of document my excitement for these events is something that I wanted to do here in this video. And I wanted to know what you guys thought, how you guys are kind of building up the hype for Pokemon Day. It's the same thing with Nintendo Directs for me. The entire community gets up and gets excited and speculates and predicts what we might see. It's the same thing with Directs as it is for Presents. Presents used to be called Directs. They used to be more similar. But it's just a really fun time to be a Pokemon fan. That also means that we get a ton of awesome stuff to cover. We're, of course, going to cover whatever we get on Pokemon Day here on the channel. Any news or announcements or teases for DLC, for spinoffs like Mystery Dungeon, which I've already done a video on, for Game Boy Pokemon games, we're going to have it all covered. We'll have plenty of analysis and discussion videos coming out after Monday, probably also on Monday of whatever we see. So it's going to be a fun time. We're going to have a lot to talk about. We're going to have a lot to cover. Like I said before, what do you guys think? Are you excited about Pokemon Day? Are you excited for what we might see? Are you kind of fully into the hype and excitement cycle for Pokemon Day by now. I, I think they did a good job announcing it a week before because it gave a lot of people a good chance to kind of just prepare for it, not have it come two days later. People can get their schedules down. If you're someone who makes content, you have kind of a set date that you have to put aside and know, OK, I'm going to try not to do as much as I usually do in the day so I can focus on this. They did a good job with it. So hopefully we get a nice bit of information. It's one of the longer Pokemon presents. It's around 21 minutes long, which is on the longer side for them. So that's great to see. So hopefully there will be a ton of stuff. And yeah, next video will be analyzing whatever we see on Monday. Hopefully it'll be a lot of good stuff. If you don't want to miss any coverage, make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you never miss that future content. I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.